So here with uh, Meyer Burger. So who are you? Yeah, I am Klaus Lichtenberg, the CEO of Rothen Rau BV, a subsidy of Meyer Burger in Switzerland. And, the, and so we, what do you do? Yeah, we, we are building uh, on one side inkjet printing tools. Uh, from lab, we are industrial production like wafer manufacturing, semiconductor, and then printed electronic or in the photovoltaic industry with the big tools. And these are high throughput tools, up to 3,000 wafers an hour. And here you have typically 60 wafers an hour. So you manufacture lots of printed electronics? Uh, we ourselves built the equipment for the printed electronics uh, and <clears throat> our customers are then making the printed electronic devices. So lo like what you see here. So this is the customers making this? Yeah, that is uh, a, a sample from the whole center. We cannot show yeah. the customer devices due to NDAs, but here okay. you see directly uh, printed OPV elements where you can harvest energy. That is a typical silver print in on, on foil. <clears throat> electronic circuits, then we can build also two and a half and 3D structures for the micro electronic industry. All right, <clears throat> what are you looking at here? Yeah, here you see a typical device like an OLED device uh, for illumination, where you can, uh, that is a new kind of replacement of bulbs in future. So this is light? That is light, yeah, you can illuminate that. So it's flexible? It's flexible. What kind of, it's, how does it work? That, that works like a transistor, uh, like, like a LED, a flat LED on a, uh, on, on a, on a phone. It's completely thin and uh, has roughly one, point, one watt. Similar like a small LED, uh, like a small LED uh, bulb that you can replace in your house. But is it already mass production or what? Uh, the mass production starts in the moment at some customers. So they, they explore the technology and uh, they introduce production in the moment. Is this going to be huge? I think that will become big markets. So I think the illumination market is one of the biggest ones you can see. And uh, also the, the, harvest, the energy harvesting market, especially on foils, uh, can offer some opportunities in the future. So is this is this uh, illumination system? Is that uh, multi-directional? Is it uh, bright or is it not very bright? Or uh, it's comparable, like you see here, the white spot on the. So it's as white as this. Yeah. But right now there's a bulb it, behind. It, it, yeah, but that is illuminated, illuminated itself. You so don't it need a bulb. So what we can build in the moment is we can go up to sheets in the moment, 400 times 500 millimeters. So that's roughly DIN A3. And it's. Uh, very, very expensive or not? Uh, in the moment it's expensive, but if it goes really into mass production, it, it will become cheaper and cheaper. And it offers you complete new dimensions. So you can uh, glue it on the wall, you can glue it on a window, so that you have complete different impressions of light. So where the, the light source is flat and flexible? Flat, flexible. Unbreakable. And, and, and also unbreakable, bendable. You can go into 3D geometries. So you have a lot of opportunities with that materials. What are we looking at here? Yeah, that's a typical uh, device what we have uh, smart, uh, from, from, from the photovoltaic industry. Here we print the, the contactive lines, the small ones here, uh, for the smart wire interconnection for Maya Burger, so that we have uh, more energy inside, um, and efficiency inside the wafer, so that there's a higher uh, energy outcome. So, are you uh, involved with the solar cell industry? Uh, we are still 20-30% with our business in Eindhoven uh, in the PV industry, but we separated and diversified not to compete with our uh, sister companies in the group. So, Maya Burger did the wise, this wise decision that we also can go into new markets like printed electronics, display, OLED technologies. All right, so, and what is that? Uh, this is a typical uh, printed electronic printed cervix for a for, uh, medical sensor. So All these right. are the production steps. You start on the foil, you mask, and then you etch it out. That's completely printed. So, so what's the future of uh, the printed ele electronics business? I think the, the future, what we see is that the printed electronic uh, business is in a starting phase and will sooner or later uh, go into real mass uh, volume production and as company we can offer more or less the complete toolbox for such kind of printed electronics 
uh, and additional, we can offer complete lines. So totally according to Maya Burger strategy to have customers served with complete line business. So are you a Swiss company? Uh, Rosenrau BV itself is an Eindhoven company in the Netherlands, but we are 100% daughter within the Rosenrau group and so far from Maya Burger. All right, so uh, what do you think about the ID Tech X uh, trade show? Uh, it's a very innovative trade show. It's a start up fair. Uh, we make every year, since, since three years we are here, so every year you have more and more uh, exhibitors and we also see that the business is growing and also the attention of the market is growing. So we have today leads from Flextronics, we have contacts with Apple, we have contacts uh, with the big ones here in the Silicon Valley. That is why it's so important to have such kind of affair from ID Techs here in the region. Google is checking this out, I hope. I'm just joking, you, you but all these guys are right here, <laughs> and uh, the future is bright, uh, flat and flexible, illuminated. Yeah, you, have a comp you get several additional dimensions than if you only make it on a chip device or on a silicon wafer. So you, you can go in all geometries, you can follow... Uh, the industrial designers will have a lot of fun in the future, because they will be yeah. able to do all kinds of crazy shapes. Yeah, it's not only that, it's, not, uh, it's also the combination of different materials, what we see on the printed electronics. For example, we had today several discussions with textile manufacturers who want to print electronics directly on uh, textiles. So that also that gives new opportunities uh, and complete new products. Can you do it? Uh, from the inkjet technology, in many cases we can do it. It will be a, a timeline of two, three years uh, to be on the market of such kind of industries, but it will work. Is the Swiss government helping you out to speed it up and make you number uh, one? Or? Yeah, we have, we have close collaborations to uh, institutes like CSEM, IMT in Switzerland, ATR, uh, Zurich. So uh, here we see opportunities to, uh, to, to, to follow up. And uh, we, we would be glad if we could set up even an electronic uh, line somewhere in, in Switzerland to explore this technology. So not only the swatch, but also other things. Uh, it's, there are other things. We are also talking with uh, chemical companies in the in, in the Basel uh, area, where we see opportunities for the next generation of uh, technical foils, but also in textile.